Hi, I'm Dr. George Ho of Vancouver. This video with subtitles in English and Chinese uses Tai Si Embryonic Respiration acquired by the combination of static meditation like sleeping qigong and any form of dong gong like tai chi and the easy to learn dolphin infant tai chi swimming or walking chan to lower blood pressure. The scientific explanation of using Tai Si embryonic respiration to lower blood pressure can be found in an academic article titled Device Guided Breathing Exercises for the Treatment of Hypertension. The machine called Respiration in the picture is an example used in Device Guided Breathing. Please read the comment from the American Heart Association shown here. According to the American Heart Association, device guided breathing using music rhythm may be a reasonable non-drug option for lowering blood pressure, especially when anxiety accompanies high blood pressure or standard treatment aren't well tolerated. The video that follows is an in-depth explanation of what Tai Si is, according to Master Huai Jinnan, a well-known Chan master. This movie is about Tai Si, which has been inadequately translated as embryonic breathing. And embryo's lungs are not functioning yet. It is the mother's lung doing the breathing part of the respiration for the embryo. The functions of the rest of the respiration are shared by both the embryo and the mother. When the Taoists and the Buddhists talk about Tai Si, they're talking about embryonic respiration, not breathing. According to Master Huai Jinnan, who quote Lao Zi saying that Zhuan Qi Zi Yu Neng Ying Yi Fu, meaning that if one can practice a specialized mode of breathing to soften the body, making it as flexible as a baby, and in the practice of meditation, if one can reach the mental state of samadhi called Ding, one can revive the embryonic respiration called Bao Shen Qi, which is the root of life and one could become disease free. Tai Si, according to Master Nam, is cultivated in the meditative state of samadhi or Ding. When Bao Shen Qi is revived and as a result, very little lung breathing is required. This is why I claim that translating Tai Si as embryonic breathing is misleading, because an embryo does not breathe with its lung at all. Bao Shen Qi has a deep religious connotation. Bao, in the Buddhist sense, is karma, which in Chinese is called Ye Bao. Buddhists, including Master Nam, believe that one's life will improve with good deeds done in this life as well as in past lives. This connotation implies that to revive Bao Shen Qi, which externally observable as Tai Si, you need more than correct technique. You need to perform good deeds. If one literally takes Lao Zi's saying of Zhuan Qi Zhi Yu Neng Ying Yu Fu, meaning to practice a specialized mode of breathing to soften the body like a baby and think one can achieve Tai Si, one could be quite disappointed. Please look at the newborn baby in the pictures. The rhythmic movement of the abdominal part below the umbilicus is a sign of the residual Bao Shen Qi, which will disappear in about one year and be totally replaced by Zhang Yang Qi. Our normal breathing which nourishes all of us, Zhang Yang in Chinese means to help grow. 
Most of us use Zhang Yang Chi until we die, unless one can practice meditation to reach the state of Ding and can revive the domain Bao Shen Qi. The embryonic mode of respiration called Tai Si will reappear and the practitioner does not seem to need to breathe like an average individual. It is a natural occurrence from meditation. The swimming reflex demonstrated by the baby in the pictures can be regarded as a scientific and objective evidence of the presence of Bao Shen Qi in newborn baby. This 11 days old baby's residual embryonic swimming reflex of closing the breathing pathway in our water made people think that it could swim. The truth is that in the amniotic fluid inside the wound, an embryo has to shut the breathing pathway. Some swimming instructors claim that it is very easy for baby to learn to swim. However, this set of embryonic reflex fade out in a year. In all babies, as observed by a more experienced swimming instructor, who said, by the time a baby is six months old, they have lost some of that natural affinity. In this book shown in the picture written in Chinese, Master Nam taught Mr. Peter Strange in detail about Zhang Yang Qi, Bao Shen Qi and Tai Si, which by now most audience would agree that it takes more than breathing practices to acquire. In the same book, Master Nam also talk about Zhong Zhi Qi, the third factor that join a sperm and an egg together to form a person. I think that Zhong Zhi Qi is crucial for rejuvenation. There must be some good reason why Master Nam did not say too much about Zhong Zhi Qi. Regarding how to practice meditation and anapana breathing, according to Master Nam's instruction, to acquire Tai Si, you have to reach the mental state of Ding Samadhi. When you concentrate on a Suo Yuan Jing to cultivate Tai Si, you can meditate while you are chanting, which is your external Suo Yuan Jing, or use an external Suo Yuan Jing, like the musical rhythm played by the raspberry. The choice is yours. The posture and the movement to cultivate Ding Samadhi can be walking while chanting, sitting, standing, or lying down, as long as they have the cranial sacral postural reflex of Tai Chi, meaning that the abdominal part below the umbilicus sticks towards the spine, and the head feels as light as if it was hanging in the air, for details, please read my Kindle book. Acquiring the cranial sacral postural reflex with meditation and Tai Chi for longevity and enlightenment. A few more related innovative therapy will be uploaded shortly. Hi, I'm Dr. George Ho. This concludes the movie. And if you like this movie, please click like and please share it with your friend in other media like that Facebook and it would really motivate me to make more movie like this if you would subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Dr. George. Subscription is totally free.